Well, it's funny because like before I launched Beast Burger, you know, I could hit up McDonald's or, or I just whatever restaurants and they wouldn't want to do a collab. They're like, oh, fucking YouTubers, who cares? Right. But then now it's it's funny after I launched that, everyone's like, oh, you want to do a menu item? And it's like, no, <laughs> like I have my own restaurant now. Yeah. So it's kind of the inverse. I think, um, I mean, I know if if I offered, they would try probably buy half of it in a heartbeat, but it's just kind of early. Like, I don't I don't think we're going anywhere the next 10 years, just like same thing with you guys. So if Budweiser wanted to buy half a Happy Dad, you'd just be like, fuck off. Yeah. Like, talk to me in five years. Yeah. So it's kind of the same thing here. Like, there's no real need. I, I don't think those bigger brands get it yet either. Like yeah. with the, the YouTube content, because they're yeah. all older, you know what I'm saying? I think it will click in their heads when like, Prime or Feastables or Happy Dad, one of these is like worth $10 billion or something like yeah. that, or it's like a publicly traded company. I think that's when they'll be like, holy fuck. You know, okay. I, I think they get it. I think they're just not accepting it. Like well, it's, it's like, still like, they're old school, bro. But it's still yeah. like, they've been dominating.